Hey guys, I'm Max X Mortar, and welcome to another episode of Oddities, where I explore quirky, weird, strange, and macabre human history. So let's get into it. On a hot summer night in St. Petersburg, Florida, around 9 p.m. on July 1st, 1951, Dr. Richard Reeser Jr. kissed his mother goodbye. That would be the last time he would see his mother. Now she's all alone. She would slip on a nightgown and pop two sleeping pills. But before sinking into her easy chair and calling it a night, she enjoyed a cigarette before bed. Mary Hardy Reeser, 67, would never be seen alive again. And Reeser's story would be one of the most strangest unsolved mysteries in Tampa Bay history. The next morning, Reeser's landlord, Pansy Carpenter, tried to deliver a telegram, but the door to Reeser's quaint apartment was warm, and the doorknob was hot to the touch. Inside the walls were charred and embers still crackled. The local media called her the cinder lady. Firefighters would barge into the ash-covered and smoke-filled apartment with no sign of Mary Hardy Reeser. Only a pile of black ash was left behind. The firefighters found evidence of extreme heat, bare candle wicks above puddles of wax, smudges of smoke stained the tops of the walls, and warped electric switches lined the room. The walls were clean and the electric switches looked normal. Reeser's newspaper sat untouched and the sheets on her bed were still white. Amongst the rubble, the St. Petersburg police found coil springs, part of Reeser's backbone. Her left foot was in a pile, still wearing a black silk slipper. Reports have said that her skull had shrunk to the size of a cup. St. Petersburg Police Chief J.R. Rykart received hundreds of theories from amateur detectives. There was no clear answer, so Rykart wrote a letter to the FBI. Dear Mr. J. Hoover, he wrote, this fire is too puzzling for the small town force to handle. St. Petersburg police sent boxes of evidence to the FBI lab in Washington, D.C., including portions of the apartment rug, smoke samples, rubble from the walls and the floor, and segments of the chair. The FBI spent three weeks examining Reeser's disappearance. Investigators couldn't detect substances that could have started the blaze, there wasn't any trace of common combustible fluids and accelerants such as alcohol and gasoline. They thought that accidental death was the only plausible theory. But Wilton M. Krogman, an anthropologist from the University of Pennsylvania, disagreed. Instead of shrinking, Reeser's skull should have exploded. Cremation of the body would require several thousand degrees over the course of several hours. I cannot conceive of such complete cremation without burning in the apartment, Krogman said, according to the York Daily Record. After the FBI investigation trailed off, a portion of ashes were buried next to her husband in Pennsylvania. The rest stayed with her offspring in St. Petersburg. Seventy-one years later, Mary Hardy Reeser's mysterious death, to this day, no one knows for sure what happened. We may never have any answers this is one of the strangest oddities i've found um it's pretty crazy to believe that humans can just combust into flames like that and turn into a pile of ash um so i actually came up with a theory myself i think the reason mary hardy reeser combusted was due to her like possible drinking habit maybe because alcohol like i heard like it can make you like really flammable or something like it depends how much you drink supposedly and, like, she was alive during, like, the 1920s when, like, alcohol consumption was, like, at an all-time high. Um, well, what do you guys think? Uh, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.